Hi there guys, thank you very much for joining us on this little video. We both hope you're all keeping really well, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's good to be back. Yeah, it's nice to be back out, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit warm and the walking is a bit of a up and down and it's through undergrowth and stuff so it's a bit uh, sticky. We're really warm and we're really thirsty so we're just hydrating a little bit at the moment. Yeah, there's a few flies as well. Yeah, there's a few insects. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what we thought we'd do, we thought we'd come out and we thought we'd do a little bit of firebox cooking. Um, so we're going to set up just behind us there and uh, fire, get some, collect some firewood and get the firebox going. Um, and what we thought we'd do, we thought we'd cook something today called a chicken fried steak, which basically, if anyone's unfamiliar with that, it's um, a beef steak, but it's uh, coated in flour and seasoning and spices and then fried off. Um, we've tried it once before and it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Um, and we've uh, made a potato rosti to bring with us as well to reheat on back on the back on the flame. So we'll get on and get on with that now. We're going to get some firewood sorted and uh, get cracking there. Yeah. What's your foot in here, Claire? Right, we've been and collected and prepped firewood. We've got the firebox lit. That's burning away nicely, and what we want is a nice bed of uh, coals. So what we might as well do, we may as well prep all the ingredients that we need to make this uh, chicken fried steak. And what mightn't we? Yeah. You looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. Look, to yeah, it's, uh, so we'll, we'll get on with this, and uh, first we've got a decent pan that we can put on the firebox for cooking the steak, but we don't need that at the moment. We need a plate though. We've got some flour, plain flour, so we'll tip some of that into the well of this bowl, plate even. That should be plenty, shouldn't it, for what we want. So we've got a bit of flour. A bit of salt. About half a teaspoon. We like things spicy, so we've got some extra hot chilli powder. 
So we'll put roughly about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of that, depending on your taste. That might be slightly more than a teaspoon, <laughs> but like we said, oh, we like we like yeah. spicy. Yeah, there is. We like it spicy. We've got some paprika. Again, roughly about a teaspoon. I mean, this is our own idea and our, our own take on it. We're not particularly following any recipe. Whoa, blinding uh. smoke. A bit of white pepper. Nah, sorry. Look at it in. Yeah, some garlic powder. Because we like spice and we like garlic. And we've brought some cane pepper, but we've put a fair bit of uh, chilli powder and paprika in that, so we're going to leave that out on this one. Mm. So I'll lift that plate so you can... I'll bring that over. There we go, we can see all the spices in there. Now we're going to give them a little mix. Um, I think I've got a fork somewhere. We'll get them mixed up and put to one side. Knife will do. Just basically, that fire to burn down now. Yeah, we just want it basically like coals like we would a barbecue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a few flames, but nothing too, too severe. Right, we just uh, take our eggs. We may as well get everything prepped, ready for these coals settling down. We'll just bung them in that tub. There we go. There's the eggs. Give them a bit of a, a beaten. Right, put that up there. Put that there for now. Put the eggshells there. We'll get rid of them in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> the pier, what is this then? It's the steak. It's just a piece of steak from a supermarket. Oh. But what we'll do whilst we're waiting for this to be ideal for cooking on we'll take the steak get rid of the rubbish we'll first firstly we'll dip it in the flour mix first we'll get that nicely coated on the ends the edges then we'll put it in the egg get it coated in the egg so it's all nicely coated and then we'll back in the flour Get it all back in the flour, get it all coated, cover it really nice. Mm. Get it on there. Mm. Now we'll just leave that there for a little while whilst we wait for this uh, firebox ready for getting the uh, pan on. I'm going to go by the stream and clean my hands up now. Right there, we've got the pan on. We've got the steak nicely seasoned. And here goes, let's see how this works out. We'll just push that steak further in. There we go. Yay. That's cooking nice. That's bubbling away really nice. The key is not to put too much oil in the pan because as from what happened last time we done this <laughs> it, it spilled over and the full lot set alight yeah. um, but thankfully that hasn't happened this time I was, I was feeling a bit nervous there <laughs> A bit right, nervous with it, yeah um, Sadly I've deleted that footage off the camera um, so I can't put it on but yeah, it was Anyway, that's cooking nicely we're just going to leave that to, leave that to cook for a while that's smelling good already, yeah. isn't it? That is smelling good. There we go. As you can see, that's sizzling away and cooking nicely. You can see it's starting to crisp up on the outside there. And it shouldn't take long. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes, really, to cook. I mean, we like our steak fairly rare anyway, so that shouldn't take long to cook. 
but the smell coming from that at the moment is absolutely unreal. You can smell the garlic and everything, can kind you? Of. Yeah, it smells delicious, doesn't it? Right, we're going to carry on leaving that cook for a little bit. And we can't wait to tuck in. Can you? <laughs> right now we've got the potato rusty on and we're just waiting for it to warm through and then as soon as it's warm through we're just going to kick back and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Looking forward to it, are you? Yeah, definitely. See what it looks like. Oh my god, that's looking fantastic. Mm. It is looking good this like. Look at that. Shouldn't take like, a lot to warm through. Yeah, I think oh. it's too, isn't it? Not far, I'll give it another minute or two. Oh. Another minute or two. Smoke. <laughs> Smoke's a bit of a pain in it. Check on that. Have a little look. Yeah. Oh look at that. That looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't it? Well that's a, the potato rosti heated through and browned off a little more. Um, we cooked it prior to coming out just to finish off whilst we were out. So what we're going to do now is put it on there and we're going to sit back in this stunning place where, that's where I wanted that to happen. <laughs> we're going to sit back in this stunning surrounding and we're going to enjoy this, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. What we'll do, we'll cut that potato. In half. A little. Oh, look at that. It smells unreal, isn't it? It does smell unreal. I'll give that a wipe on a leaf. <laughs> well, we're just going to enjoy this now in such a beautiful setting. We're quite lucky to, uh, to have the use of this woodland and it's absolutely stunning. Um, you've seen it many times in some of our videos and we, we always enjoy our time here and it's good to be back. So anyway, I'm just going to stop waffling on and we're going to try this, see where it's like, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's cutting through that nice. Yeah, it's really tender, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. I'm going to put the knife there for now. Try a bit. That's nice and pink. Still mm -hmm. inside. That looks absolutely fantastic. Tell me what it's like. Gorgeous. That is mm. amazing. Really tender, isn't it? Mm. That is amazing. It's Got a bit of kick from the chili. Yeah, but it's not too hot. No, no. Perfect. Mm. Mm. We'll cut into this potato rosti and we'll see what that's like as well. Though. Seems to be holding up fairly well. Again, that just goes perfect with that. Potatoes cook through nice. And then uh, Ridge Monkey cook, Ridge Monkey pan things, they're brilliant for cooking them rosties. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Definitely worth a try. Go into that again. Right, I'm going to uh, finish eating this. <laughs> right then, guys, thank you very much for joining us on this uh, on this outing, on this video. We thought we'd do a little bit of uh, firebox cooking and we came up with um, the chicken fried steak, which we must say was, oh, was delicious. absolutely delicious, <laughs> unreal. And the rosti just complemented it really well. Um, but yeah, we enjoyed that. Mm. We've enjoyed our little short bit of time out in this woodland. And we really do hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you've watched it right the way through to this point, then thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed it, please, please give the video a big thumbs up. Um, we really do appreciate that. If you're new around here, um, please subscribe. And if you, again, if you're new around here, check out our other videos. If there's some you may have missed, if you're a long-term subscriber, just have a run down and have a check out. We've, I mean, I've just been checking out a cave, 
um, a few more wild edible videos and that sort of thing haven't there? a few videos of what we've been doing whilst we've been in lockdown um, but yeah please check out the videos and and please subscribe if you haven't already but yeah we're just gonna say um, thanks once again and we'll leave you here and we're gonna kick back well we're not gonna kick back we're gonna go and head out of here and get back <laughs> yeah it would be nice to kick back and spend know, a bit more time yeah, but all right i'm waffling so thank you very much bye for now thank you and stay safe <laughs> stay as fit. always stay fit <laughs> <laughs>